Welcome to all our audience of Metal Zone Radio Show. We have the huge pleasure to be with Mike from High Head God at the Motor Culture Festival, second day. Hello, Mike. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Great, too. Yeah, a lot of good bands, uh, a lot of style. So that's cool. Yeah. Uh, First time for you to play there? No, we've yeah. played we played a few years ago. A few years ago. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, I forget what year, but Okay, cool. <laughs> um your self-titled album came out in 2014. Uh so uh, uh 14 years after a confederacy of Rune's live and after such a long break between the two, I guess many fans don't know when to expect a follow-up. Can you give us more details about that? <laughs> Well, we've recorded a new album. It's just a matter of finishing it, you know. We have a new album recorded, basically. We just have to finish it. Yeah. We've been on tour nonstop since 2017. Okay. So uh, we did have a little time to record, but uh, it just needs vocals. It needs to be finished. Yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll see. I'm not, you know, who, it could be another 14 years. Who knows? <laughs> We're okay. on tour now until yeah. December, so. Yeah, you're focusing on tour now, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's what you know. That's what we've been doing. So we're booked up until December. Okay, cool. So we're gonna wait a little bit. <laughs> Take your time. Uh, your music is often defined as sludge, but I think there's more to it. Of course, different sides and influences. How could you would you define it? I hate that word, to be honest. I think it's. it's I mean, it's. Uh, It's just another label put on something, you know? I mean, we existed, we were a band before that was a word, you know? I mean, it was a word, but before it was put to bands, you know? I mean, we were just, uh, to me, it's just a rock and roll band. It's just, uh, it's, it's heavy, it's bluesy, it's punk, it's got elements of southern rock. It's just where we're from, you know? We're from the South, we're from New Orleans, you know? That's just... It just came out the way we wanted to hear a band sound, you know, so. It's a rock and roll band. <laughs> it is to me, you know, it is to me. I don't, I don't, I mean, there's many ways to describe, you know, different genres and different other types of music and stuff. And I use those things myself because you can't really explain a band to someone without doing it. But uh, all of a sudden people are telling me that I'm in a sludge band and I'm just like, okay. That's fine with me, but I didn't know it before, yeah. you know. But, like not, but not only. <laughs> yeah, I don't, th I think it's, you know, it, it's just us, you know, it's just, it's just what we've created, you know. Yeah. I don't think anyone else can copy that or yeah. recreate it. Yeah. The, best is to, the best is to listen and to see the band live, to, to make an idea. Yeah, I would say live is the place, uh, definitely. And then we're not the type of band to, r I mean, we have albums, we've got albums out, obviously, but live is where we have the most fun, and um, that's where yeah. the true I Hate God comes out, you know? Um, what about the name Hyatt God? Is there a story behind, or is it just a name? Uh, th there is a story behind it, but I really, I, th th there was a singer before me who only played, well, two rehearsals. He did two rehearsals. He's the one who named the band. So it's really, you know, he's, uh, he's now a born-again Christian. So he doesn't want anything to do with this band or anything to do with the name or anything. So it was originally called The I Hate God. Yeah. So if you can figure that out, I don't know. I mean, okay. <laughs> there's a lot of different meanings people put to it, but I mean. Yeah. So it's to each of us. To yeah, see the, the say, sense. I would say it's yeah. up to interpretation, you know. Okay. And what about the 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 themes, the lyrics you are talking about in general in your albums? Oh, I mean, I don't know. Life, Life in general. Yeah. I mean, depression, mm -hmm. drugs, addiction, misery, love, hate. You know, just being a human being. Yeah. You know, I mean, just. We don't sing about anything, you know, like political or anything like that, you know? I mean, there's no lyrics like that. It's just all, a lot of it's super abstract, too. Some of it makes no sense at all. Yeah. So, I don't think it, it's, uh, I don't think music, I think if it sounds good, the lyrics don't have to be some storytelling type of thing, you know? Uh, what's the most fucked up things you've seen on tour? <laughs> On tour? Yeah. I mean, your typical things on tour. 
But I mean, I've seen dead people. I've seen people shot in New Orleans. I've seen things like that, but that's not on tour, you know? So, I mean, it depends on how fucked up you're talking about, I mean. Uh, um, uh, what is, is there is one album, the album that uh, that triggered your passion for for rock and roll music? I'm sorry, what was that again? What is the album that triggered uh, uh, um, uh, your passion for the rock and roll music? Oh, uh, it was so many. Yeah. There's many, 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 many. I don't know. The early stuff I first heard was Alice Cooper, Black Sabbath, when I was like nine years old, and uh, the Who. And then after that, you know, I went and got, I got into Kiss, you know, and then from there it was like Sex Pistols, The Damned, yeah. The Clash, Black Flag, and it all went from there, you know, up into the, the more hardcore stuff in the 80s to like the mid 80s, like the crossover stuff like Exodus and, and Slayer and things like that, you know, but just kind of followed that path, you know, and just uh, also listened to a lot of like, I mean, I don't know what you people, there's labels for it, but uh, just uh, Nick Cave, Birthday Party. I like The Cure. I like Andres and the Botten. I like uh, Test Department. I mean, Very large. Just, I just like I just like to listen to everything, you know. Very open. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, what are some of your biggest influences that you've loved to share the stage with, living or deceased? I mean, shit, we've already... Uh, I mean, we've they were already toured with Discharge, so, um, I mean, you could say Black Sabbath or something like that, but I mean, I don't know, no, no one, really, I mean, we just like to play, if we, you know, we just want to play, yeah. we, we don't really care who we play with, okay. I mean, I'm not here to see any bands today, no, no. there's no one here I want to see, okay. I'm just, <laughs> just here to play and have fun, you know, cool. Corkscrew, so I can open a bottle of wine. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. and in France we've got some good, good, very good, very, very, good. Good. very good wine. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you remember your first live appearance with a band? With a band? Yeah, yeah. yeah I've been in bands since I was 15 years old, and uh, I'm around 50 right now. Let's just to say that. But uh, yeah, uh, 14 or 15, and my first band was called Teenage Waste that we played live, and it was just total hardcore band, you know? Yeah. Terrible, sloppy, <laughs> had a song called Burn the Flag, yeah, okay. <laughs> stuff like that, you know? Just played every Tuesday yeah. and Friday and with a, a New Orleans band called The Sluts, yeah. and also a band called Shell Shock in New Orleans, and uh, I, would I would run away from home at 15 years old and go, you know, play in the band, and um, so that was, that's pretty much the first time, first yeah. Time. yeah. Before that, I mean, you had bedroom bands, you know, yeah. where you just, uh, you don't ever play live, but, you know, you've got, you've got a, a, a shitty Sears guitar or something, you know, like, but, yeah, that's the first time on stage. Next souvenir, I suppose, first, okay. So, you're playing at the Moto Culture today, uh, uh, I suppose you've got other uh, festival plan, the, you were talking about touring until December, so many shows to come. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've played most of the festivals on this tour. Uh, we did uh, Sonic Blast, we've done Frantic Fest in Italy, uh, yes, day before yesterday, a bunch of other ones. Yeah, um, yeah we've got Japan coming up, Australia. Um, we're trying to work China out. We're supposed to go to China with the, the, there's some political stuff going on there right now. We're not sure what's up with that, but uh, New Zealand. Okay. And then we're coming back to Europe in yeah. October cool. to yeah. do the UK. We're doing the UK and then the rest of Europe. Yeah. So, But then we've got a bunch of stuff in America, like uh, the West Coast um, uh, of America with uh, The Accused, Final Conflict, yeah. Sheer Terror, yeah. Negative Approach. Negative approach. Yeah. yeah. So very busy until the end of the year. Yeah, we're busy until the end of the year. We don't have but uh, maybe a week or two off until, until the end of November. That's cool. Touring, touring, and touring. Uh, okay, Mike, so to conclude this interview, did you have something to add and some words for your French fan? Because I know more and more French people like Hyatt God and, uh, and other bands, but Hyatt God. Well, I mean, I'm just happy to be here. I'm glad people love us here. And, um, you know, our first, our first record, I Hate, God, I Hate God's first record, came out on um, a French label. 
called Intellectual Convulsion, which was just a small, tiny label. There was like a thousand copies pressed of that record. Then Century Media repressed it. So we have origins with France from the very beginning. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we love it here, you know, so, so that's about it, you know. Thank you to be here today. Okay, so Thank this you. is this was Mike from I Edgar uh, at the Moto Cultural Festival. Wish you a lot of good things, of course, for the band, for you, for your family, and so on, etc. Yes. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. It was a pleasure to see you. Yes, you too.